So where were you during the big demonstrations that took place in the lead up to the invasion of, of Iraq in 2003 and immediately after? Uh, I was organising against the war in Sydney um, and I was part of what was then called the Walk Against War Coalition, which was the very broad coalition of many different groups and, and people who pulled together the big protest, I think it was February 16, in Sydney of half a million people. Um, certainly the, one of the biggest events of, of, I can remember in my life um, and, a, and a fantastic atmosphere that day. Um, so many people um, that the city was gridlocked with people protesting against the war. And most of us never even got to march because by the time the front of the march went on a circle around the city and got back into Hyde Park, most people hadn't been able to leave. So there was like a, just a huge, huge amount of people, way, way bigger than anyone really expected. Um, certainly the, the only protest I've seen my mother um, attend. Um, and so many people, uh, it was their first protest um, and it was a, a really a massive outpouring of opposition to the war. People could see through the lies of people. And were you also involved in uh, uh, mobilisations of, of students around the Books Not Bombs uh, campaign? Yeah, yeah, I was part of organising the Books Not Bombs protests in Sydney as well, which were a national series of protests initiated by resistance, but involved other student groups as well, um, student unions at universities. But key, the key thing was the organisation of, of students on high schools. Um, and Books Not Bombs happened, um, one, there was the call which came out, but a lot of spontaneous organisation happened at schools across Australia. And so there was 10,000 people in Sydney um, in early March. Um, and then a similar amount in Melbourne and thousands around the country, about 30,000 nationally, um, walked out, I think it was March 5 from, from memory. And this is still before the bombs had been uh, started uh, dropping on Baghdad, uh, before the invasion. And it was, again, an exhilarating day in Sydney. I remember it very well, that the, the protest, well, it was, it was a race rather than a march. Um, we, had a, we met at, at Town Hall, and then the students just rushed off. Um, everyone was surprised. The police were, were totally surprised, and they, they were overwhelmed. They couldn't even try to control it. And we had no idea where the march was actually going. Eventually, it ended up in Hyde Park, um, and, and that's where it, where it finished that day. But as I remember... Um, the, the fountain in Hyde Park North was just covered in students, everyone just climbing over on top and, um, and uh, yeah, it was a, a fantastic response, way bigger than, than we imagined as well. But it was part of, of, of at that time, there was a, a sense of, 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 of people were so, so angry at political leaders, particularly John Howard um, and, and George Bush, and who, were, who were treating everyone as dupes, um, <laughs> so few people um, who didn't just want war for the sake of it, um, or for the, for the sake of increasing you know, Western power in, in, in the Middle East. Um, so few people believed that you know, we had to invade Iraq, um, mm. and the reasons which were given about weapons of mass destruction, etc., um, which were subsequently shown to be lies. Well, people felt that. Um, people did you know, understand that this was you know, a war which was being carried out for, for, to increase US power. Um, and they didn't think Australia should have anything to do with this war, a war which they could tell was going to create so much suffering. In the end, the protesters were right, and the student protesters who, who, who took to the streets were right. Um, more than a million people died in that war, and people just like us. Um, people who, had, who were not, weren't supporters of Saddam Hussein, most likely they were people who were oppressed by Saddam Hussein. They were the victims of this war. And the ongoing um, tragedy in Iraq is that the country has been thrown back decades and decades. Um, health infrastructure has been completely dismantled. Um, the the whole, of, whole of Iraq has now been split up into, um, in, in some cases physically, apart from the, the cities which were pretty much destroyed like Fallujah, but Baghdad now has been reorganised, reorganised along ethnic and sectarian religious lines. Um, a country which was actually, had, was marked by re um, relative religious tolerance between different um, uh, Islamic sects and religions is now, uh, is, is now is completely different, it's completely changed. Um, so the tragedy in Iraq, apart from, or along with the depleted uranium, which is scattered all through the country, um, and the fact that they now are ruled by a puppet regime, which is really a client of, 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 of the West, of the US. Um, the tragedy for Iraq is that 
um, the, the impact of the war, um, of the invasion, is going to continue for a very, very long time. Um, so it's one of the, the biggest crimes against humanity, certainly probably the, the biggest single one you could point to in the, this far in the, in the 21st century. And so I think that those protests in, here in Australia, where, where the, the protesters were right, and no one should ever um, doubt that they were right.